And now let's turn our attention to Australia. Sri Lankan cricketer Danushka Gunathilaka was arrested on Sunday on rape charges. He has been denied bail and Sri Lanka has suspended him from all forms of cricket. Our next report brings you all the details. Take a look. Danushka Gunathilaka has been charged with four counts of rape. He reportedly committed the crime on November 2nd. He had been talking to a woman on a dating app for several days, and then they met for dinner. After the meal, they went back to the woman's house in Sydney. On November 6th, Gunathilaka was arrested at a hotel in Sydney. This is where the Sri Lankan cricket team was put up during the T20 World Cup. After being charged with rape, the cricketer applied for bail on Monday. The court denied him bail. The uh, application was refused. Um, well, I can't comment on my reaction, but certainly we'll, we are considering uh, an application to the Supreme Court. So to, to appeal the decision? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, and that will be done as soon as possible. Gunathilaka was suspended by Sri Lanka cricket on Monday. The association said they have a zero-tolerance policy for any such conduct. Gunathilaka has been suspended or fined on numerous occasions. In 2018, he was suspended for a few games when a friend of his was accused of raping a Norwegian woman. He was nearby when it happened. Sri Lankan police said Gunathilaka was not involved in that incident. The cricketer has been suspended on other occasions as well. He was supposed to serve a year-long ban from international cricket for flouting COVID regulation in 2021. Gunathilaka and two others breached the national team's bio-bubble to go out partying in Durham, England. But that ban was lifted in less than six months. He has been handed other bans for indiscipline, unsportsmanlike conduct and brawling. After this latest incident, Sri Lanka's consultant coach and former captain had this to say. Happy the players who go on these tournaments are not school kids. They are professionals and they must take responsibility for their behavior and the decisions they make. Gunathilaka is not the first cricketer to face rape accusations. In October, the Nepal team's captain Sandeep Lamichane was sent to judicial custody. He has been charged with raping a minor. In 2019, cricketer Alex Hepburn was given a five-year prison sentence for raping a woman while she was sleeping. The incident happened in 2017. Uday Joshi, who played Ranji cricket in India, was jailed for six years in 2012. He was convicted for molesting a 13-year-old boy. The incident had occurred around 30 years before Joshi's conviction. Then there's Makia Ntini, the first black cricketer to play for South Africa. He was convicted in 1999, but always maintained his innocence. He was later acquitted. Other cricketers have been accused of sexual assault, but the cases were then dropped. Sometimes the accuser did not provide proof, such as in the case of Ryan Hintz from the West Indies. And sometimes the accusers withdrew the cases, like with Bangladeshi cricketer Rubel Hossein. The Australian court has denied Gunathilaka bail. A trial should take place soon, and hopefully justice will be served. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.